Finally back. Don Mikowski ran Lindy and Fani's multiple offense system to near perfection today. In the last three games, he's thrown just one interception. That tells me Don's making better decisions and his timing's returned. He completed 16 of 26 passes for 195 yards and a pair of touchdowns. But with Mikowski, it's more than numbers. Like any outstanding quarterback, he makes the big plays. None was bigger than this 29-yard pass to Perry Kemp on third and 19 late in the third quarter. Two plays later, the Mikowski Kemp duo combined for 28 yards and the touchdown that gave the pack an insurmountable 10-point lead. He's a Houdini, he throws the ball from every conceivable uh, angle in his body. <clears throat> He's Bernie Kosar with speed. Bernie Kosar always impressed me with his ability to throw under your armpit, between your legs, falling down. He's, he's truly a, a phenomenal quarterback. Magic's 45-day holdout cost him and the team big time, but he appears to have regained last year's all-pro form. If the Packers are to make a serious run at the playoffs, number seven will have to play to that level over the final seven games. I'm Tom Pippins on Packer Time. All right, Tom, point well taken. There's still a very good chance for the playoffs now, although four of the Packers' last seven games on the road. That is, of course, if Don Mikowski still in one piece. The Packer offensive line, which was one of their strengths a year ago, has been a sore spot this season. 31 quarterback sacks and a running game that has been ineffective for the most part. Didn't they realize that the holdouts would have an effect? Tony Mandarich still the best run blocker at this point, but he often gets beat when they have to pass, and rare is the game that Mikowski's been able to sit back and read defenses like Joe Montana does. I've said it before, I'll say it again, the Packers won't go very far if they're a one-man team or a one-dimensional show like they are right now. All right, that's Packer time for this week. Packers in Phoenix next week. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the high school champions.